You stay away from Zeke, and you stay away from me. It's over. This is the biggest mistake Monet has done. Breaking up with Mecca and warning him to stay away from his son, Monet is done for good. Now, I want to talk about two things. One, why Mecca wants to meet Lorenzo now. Two, if Kane will even let that happen. Now, Mecca suddenly changed his mind to meet Lorenzo and I know you are wondering why he wants to meet Lorenzo. Even Kane will be confused about this sudden change of mind and I know the quickest reason that can come to mind as to why he wants to meet Lorenzo is to tell him Zeke is his son. But that would be a wrong move for Mecca to even think of doing. But as smart as he is, I don't think he'll just walk to Lorenzo and tell him he is Zeke's father just like that. In this video, I'll tell you why Mecca changed his mind to meet Lorenzo and his entire game plan with Lorenzo and Monet. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button for more powerful content and leave your comments below. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. Now to the main topic. Monet has played a dangerous game with Mecca without knowing how bad she was playing with his emotions or because of her uncertainty about their future together. One minute Monet is like she can't be with him, another time she is ready to run away with him and then now she is done with him. These actions from Monet will end up putting her under huge pressure and discomfort. The reason Mecca wants to meet Lorenzo I believe is to learn him first of all, get back at Monet for breaking up with him, control both Lorenzo and Monet at the same time since he will be their new connect. Besides, Mecca still has a lot of product in his jet with no one to move them so definitely he will need Lorenzo to work with him. The only person who will not be happy with Lorenzo meeting Mecca is Monet and probably Kane. She will wish they never met each other and the fact that they are dealing together will make Monet very uncomfortable around even Lorenzo. And I believe Mecca will develop a good rapport with Lorenzo first, pretend not to know his wife Monet, make him feel he is the only connect. And if you remember, Mecca once told Kane he heard about his father Lorenzo but never had the privilege to meet him. Tahada. Yeah, yeah, I heard the name. Never had the privilege. So Mecca will possibly use an old acquaintance of Lorenzo to gain his trust. Now, if Mecca finally have Lorenzo on board, I believe he will find a way to have Lorenzo in his pocket. How? Probably Lorenzo might end up owing Mecca. A possible mistake that might come from him or one of his sons. Mecca will act all cool and that is what will make him have control over Lorenzo. Now, if Mecca succeeds in controlling Lorenzo, he will make sure Monet sees how powerful he can be. And if I am Mecca, I'll make sure my control over Lorenzo can make him even hand over his own wife to me. So for a start, the meeting between Mecca and Lorenzo will be about business and terms and conditions. Also, if Mecca wants to send one of his signals to Monet that he is becoming the only powerful source of their product, he won't mention his name as Mecca, but rather he will introduce himself as Dante to Lorenzo, a name Monet only knows. And if Lorenzo brief his family about their new connect, he will surely mention his name to them and at this point, Monet will start freaking out big time. Her insecurity might either oppose the connect or she will run straight to Mecca to confront him about why he is coming closer to her husband. And if Lorenzo wants some background checks done on Mecca before they deal together, Diana might need Tariq's help to figure out some information about their new connect since he was the only one who followed King to the connect. Not only that, Diana might also want Tariq to help her with money and why she is suddenly acting out. Now to the most interesting part of all this. The second question is, will Kane hand over his connect to his father? Will Kane stop Mecca from meeting his father? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. But then, like we all know, Kane doesn't really think about anything before doing. If Kane doesn't willingly link Lorenzo to Mecca, this is the possible damn thing he might try to play. Kane will think neither Mecca nor Lorenzo know each other, so he will play Lorenzo by setting up this meeting between him and someone else but not Mecca. That way, Kane will still be the link to the real connect, something like a third party thing. Hence, Mecca will remain a ghost to Lorenzo and this is how cheap Kane can possibly play his father. Now, how will Kane counterplay Mecca here? If Kane wants to play Mecca also, he will end up telling Mecca that his father doesn't want to meet anymore after he Mecca didn't want to make himself available the first time. 
Ken might try to sound convincing to Mecca that his father doesn't beg nor chase connect so he is done. All the above sounds cool and convincing should Ken play both his father and Mecca simultaneously. But what Ken didn't know is Mecca followed him to his father at the location they should have met. If you remember the ninja side of Mecca that Ken doesn't like, well this shot here suggests a point of view of someone hiding behind this pillar while Ken was talking to Lorenzo. It is a way of storytelling where the writer hides a character from the audience and instead using a POV or point of view approach. So there is a reason they picked this angle when Lorenzo was leaving the scene. Mecca was spying on them both. So one way or the other, Mecca has finally ID Lorenzo. So if Kane decides to play both his dad and Mecca like I'm saying, it's up to Mecca to now move to Lorenzo himself without Kane setting them up. That is if Mecca wants to prove himself to Monet for using and dumping him. And at this point, I believe Mecca is going to put some hold on his meeting with Zeke until he finally have the Tahades, especially Lorenzo, in his pocket. Because meeting Zeke now will only complicate things for Zeke, the family and himself because there is no way Zeke is just going to run into Mecca's arms because he is his father. Without asking a lot of questions or freaking out, Zeke will need some time to process everything. And once Zeke find out who his father is, he will definitely want to know who his mother is and her whereabouts. And I don't think Monet is ready for this scandal at this very moment. The way things are already in the Tahada family where Lorenzo is drawing through and Diana closer, I think it's a wrong time to drop this long time secret right now. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and also, who else noticed Monet has become a housewife now that Lorenzo is back? I have a lot to talk about on episode 6, so watch out for my next video on Tariq and Tate. Like I said in my previous video that Tate will help Tariq out because of the unfinished business. Who else apart from Braden can pull some string to help Tariq? Now, Tate has an unfinished business with Tariq. He still wants some evidence on Sweeney. So if Tate should find himself talking to Tariq in jail, he might give a piece of the rape information about Sweeney to Tate in order to help him out of jail. If Tate is sure he'll get evidence from Tariq, he'll probably go to Simon Stein to pull some strings for Tariq to be freed. Now that this has happened, I'll tell you in my next video if Tariq will keep playing Tate just like he did with Sax in season 1. And also, watch out for Lauren taking the stand at Tariq's trial and how Tariq will play his game in court. I also stated in my last video that Tariq will use the sexual relationship between Zeke and Carrie to his advantage. If you haven't watched that video yet, kindly check the right corner of this video and watch for yourself. Now if you like this video, hit the like button and if you are new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave your comments below. Let's continue the conversation. Catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching.